Hey everyone, Alex from Nerds Being Geeks here. I went to the famous, infamous Mile High Comics in Denver, Colorado. Let's see what I picked up. Before we get into the video, just a quick reminder, please like, share, and subscribe to Nerds Being Geeks. Uh, at this point, we're getting close to 250 subscribers. The Instagram, the Nerds Being Geeks Instagram is doing great. Just hit over 700 subscribers as well. Hopefully, we'll get to 1,000 by the end of the year. That'd be awesome. Thanks for all the support, everyone. I really appreciate it. All right, everyone. So before we get into this comic book haul from Mile High Comics, I did take some footage. I did take a few pictures. So I'm going to play that stuff now and then we'll come back and I'll show you everything I picked up.
All right, so that was some of the footage I took at Mile High Comics in Denver, Colorado. Now, uh, let's get into the comic haul. All right, so first thing I got at Mile High Comics was Snot Girl Trade Paperback Volume 1. Now, actually, uh, with this, my uh, my wife actually saw it while we were in there, and she thought it sounded really funny, so she wanted it, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to tell her no if she sees a comic book she likes. So we picked up Snot Girl. I don't know anything about it. All I know, it was written by the creator of Scott Pilgrim, and um, yeah, I haven't read Scott Pilgrim or seen the movie, so... Don't leave hate comments. I'm sorry. I heard it was good. I just haven't. I just haven't done it yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh, Snot Girl sounded awesome. It's a uh, image book, so the trades are usually really cheap. So it was like ten bucks. So why not grab it for sure? All right. So the next book I got was nothing. I did not get anything else at Mile High Comics. I only picked up that $10 trade. The reason being is Mile High Comics is expensive as fuck. It was incredibly overpriced. Everything there. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I was actually in sticker shock uh, the whole time I was in there. Couldn't believe the pricing. Um, like for example one series that i am still trying to collect is uh batman the new 52 run i think i need about eight issues eight to ten issues uh and it's the last ones and it's like not even like it's not even like the first jim gordon as batman spoiler alert on a you know like an almost 10 year old story but uh not even that it's not uh i do need the mr bloom first appearance but that wasn't even like in this. Uh, it was like so other stuff. It was filler issues for Batman the New 52. And I was in sticker shock. Uh, <laughs> these prices on there, 40, 50, 60 dollars price stickers on the, on, the, on the books for these filler issues. Four filler issues of Batman the New 52. Um, I'm still kind of in shock about it. Some of like the wall books they had. They had uh, the three Jokers. Um, and it was just like cover A's. Uh, like a couple of cover B's. Like nothing. It wasn't like the 1 in 25's or anything. These were just the standard covers. And these things were like $200 each. They weren't graded. And, you know, maybe if it was like nine nines or tens, you, you might be able to get that price. I don't know the fair market value of those, of those like nine nines or the tens. You know, those had $200 stickers on them. Uh, the, the, the thing was that was really confusing to me was not only was like the pricing on those stickers or like these books, they had two different signs. They had all back issues are half off. So even like a filler issue of the Batman the, uh, from the New 52, if it was $60 tagged, which I have no idea why you would have a $60 sticker on a filler issue, so that would turn it down to 30 But then there was another sign in Mile High Comics that was, uh, it said, man, uh, I wish I took a picture of this. It said, take all books to register for current pricing. So it kind of reminded me of like uh, recently there was this uh, image of a comic book store in New Jersey. And if I can find the image, I, I'll, I'll put it in here in this video. But it was something along the lines of we have the right to, what was it, uh, per the, like, Per the speculation market, we have the right to change pricing uh, 
at any given time at the register no matter what the tag says or it's something along those lines if i can find the photo i'll put it in here and uh that's been kind of a controversial subject and so i'm like so i'm told that these are half off and then i'm told to take them up to the counter to get current pricing i'm like so now if i want a stack of books i don't have any idea what i'm paying for them where are they getting these current prices why are you putting 60 dollar uh price tag stickers on filler issues that like at most would be 10 to 15 dollars at most uh way over fair market value i tried poking around just to get something to get any book to say hey i got this book at the famous mile high comics in denver but i wasn't willing to spend that much money on like filler issues you know there was a lot of comics in there but i just didn't like i didn't want to grab a stack of books and have no i waste all my time pulling all these books and have no idea what i'll be paying am i paying sticker am i paying half am i getting a completely different price i was like yeah the you know if it's half off and it's 30 dollars, and then like they're gonna say oh yeah it's not 30 it's gonna be you know 20 or 15 or 10 i'm like I have no idea how much you know time or money i would have spent just trying to get a price on books i hated that i i, I absolutely hated that it kind of completely turned me off from even wanting to spend that time to to, to do that the other thing was uh, a goal of mine this year is to trying to find uh, a golden age batman book and so they put all of any like high-end or expensive, uh, like bronze, silver, golden, any high, high dollar ones that weren't in like that front glass case. Um, you have to go to like the separate counter that sits in front of like these aisles. I mean, really long aisles and multiple of them of just uh, white long boxes on both sides. I mean, these aisles were really long. Uh, I mean, these shelves were taller than me. And uh, you just look down there and you're like, oh my gosh. I was like, I can only imagine what's down there. But they don't let you go down there. They don't let you go through all these long boxes. You have to go to the counter and tell them what book you're looking for. And the guy at the counter is going to type into the computer into their... Uh, inventory search however they have it uh which actually if you go to mile high comics website it looks like it's like from windows 98 it it looks terrible and that's how they search for their books and their inventory and i don't know how it works still but the guy couldn't like i had to have a certain issue number or else he really couldn't help me at all and i'm not looking for a particular issue i'm just trying to say hey uh i want a golden age batman book what what can i find uh in my price range and that that might have like a you know the cover appeal uh graded possibly uh you know all these different variables and i i, I basically just had to tell them what the exact issue i wanted and i'm like standing there i'm like i don't know i just want to look for a golden age book he's like yeah, i can't i can't do anything for you really I was like, cool, great. I was, <laughs> and that was, and that was after I'd already gotten sticker shock from like these filler issue pricings at fifty, sixty dollars. So I was like, I can't imagine what these books that they won't even let me go and see are priced at. I was just so over it. I was like ready to go. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm done. I was like, I don't want to spend any more time in here. <sighs> I was just in, in sticker shock. That's the best way to put it. I couldn't believe it uh the searching to find books is terrible i was like i've gone through long boxes filled of golden age books at cons before like display how about display your high-end books so people can see what you got uh because there's been plenty of times i've seen a book like i wasn't looking for it and then i saw it i was like that's amazing and i want it and i bought it but if i if i have to know the exact issue I mean, yeah, it helps sometimes. Like, you go in there, yeah, I'm looking for a Hulk 181. Yeah, okay, that's different. But, like, just 
any type of golden age book uh, of Batman detective or Batman would have been great. I even tried searching. I was like, okay, well, I, I also want a Captain Marvel golden age book. Uh, I was like, he, he's like, so what, what, what's that under? I was like, well, it'd be under several things. It would be like uh, Captain Marvel adventures. It would be under uh, Fawcett publications. It would be under Wiz comics. And he couldn't give me anything on any of those. So that was a great experience at Mile High. Um, if you're ever in the Denver area, I do recommend going in there because it is a sight to behold. It is kind of like a museum in some spots. No, they're, they're pricing their books like it's a museum. That's for sure. I did, uh, went, like once we got back to the hotel, um, I, like, I kind of Googled like, why is Mile High Comics so expensive? And there was a few Reddit uh, threads that I don't know how true they are. Uh, it was on Reddit, but one of them was Chuck, the owner, of Mile High Comics considers it a uh, like a privilege to own some of his books, so he puts it up the price way high. So it's like, oh yes, I spent this at Mile High Comics. If that makes any sense, like he, he only sells his books at the highest premium because it's our pleasure to buy them from him. I don't know how true that is. I don't know. Uh, anything about him. I, he wasn't there when I was there or I didn't see him at least. Uh, another thread was from a former employee. Once again, this is Reddit, so I don't know how true that is. He said that, or she, I can't remember the actual uh, uh, user, but uh, he said that like Mile High Comics actually gets mad when you actually sell their books. And I don't know the reason for that. Isn't that the point of a business? I don't know if it's like a tax thing or 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 what, but he said that, yeah, the managers would get mad when you actually sold the products that have price tags on them. So I have, I have no clue. I just didn't enjoy myself. Sticker shock was insane. Um, I didn't want to waste my time and my vacation to Colorado, you know, trying to figure out pricings on this book. Just price stuff out reasonably. Um, I don't know why any Batman New 52 filler book would be um, $60 and then half off to make it feel like I'm getting a deal. I, I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments or on Instagram what uh, your experience with Mile High Comics uh, is or was. If you've ever uh, gone there or done business with them. I just know that uh, it just wasn't for me. Um, I think you should have your stuff priced accordingly. Uh, some of that stuff was just way out of whack. The ability to to not even go through ha like half the books that are even in that whole warehouse. Um, I don't know. I was just in such sticker shock that I, I just was turned off by the whole experience. All right. So uh, let me know what you guys thought of uh, Mile High Comics. <sighs> Woof. Yeah. Not, not a great experience for me, but uh, I'm glad I got to experience it nonetheless. Um, the collection is huge. That warehouse is huge. Uh, just books everywhere. Uh, uh, books that you don't even know what they have in stock. Books that are off li limits to customers. Uh, a lot of glass cases. Uh, wall books that literally need... Uh, you know, ladders to get up. The, it was just a massive wall of, of books that were incredibly overpriced. So uh, let me know what you guys think. That was my experience with Mile High Comics. Uh, I will not be going back if I ever go to Denver again. But yeah, there you go. All right, so thanks for uh, watching my uh, comic book haul from Mile High Comics. That was... Great.
Thanks for watching.